Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I'm in a new game called Fishing on the Fly that just came out a couple of days ago, and I'm going to be taking my first look at this game, and from the first things I want to do is get the sound levels down just a touch, if I can do so. It's a little on the loud side. Alright guys, we are ready to actually do some fishing here, guys, and I will give you a brief description on what you have to do to get around in this game. Now the WASD, your directional keys on your keyboard will move you forward, backward, left and right just like in many games. Your arrow keys are what you use to fight the fish. The up arrow is what you use to set the hook. Your left mouse button is what you use to cast with and your right mouse button pulls the line back in. Now, the thing is guys, what you're trying to do is you're trying to fish with a fly that closely matches whatever happens to be hatching. Like in this instance, it's the salmon fly. Now, it just happens they threw one up there for you so that you can see it. Oh cool, there's a wolf over there. And this will be the one they'll go after. Now there will be other types of flies that will also resemble that that they will go after as well. So let's go ahead and try to catch a fish here real quick. It'll go in, then you set the hook, you go up on the arrow, down on the arrow, left, right, left, up, right, up, left, up, and there you go, passable, 11 inches, 1 pound, so he's kind of a little bitty, but I have reached level 1 and unlocked a beginner rod, so we're going to see if we can't catch another one here, real quick. Up, right, down, left, up, hungry, 14 inches, 1 pound. Now if you don't hit those arrows quick enough, I look like I got some tying materials. They will, if you don't hit it quick enough, they will get off the hook. And when that happens, you might lose some of your lure and some of your tying materials used to make the lure. Now, we could continue fishing here, or we could try going down to other areas, but I'm gonna, actually what I think I might do is I might come down here, because there is another pretty good fishing spot, and you can find them obviously easy enough, you just have to look for the fish. Okay, no, I'm not seeing any over here. I will right, we'll try over here. Because sometimes you can happen upon some... Yep, there's some down here. There's a lot more down here. Check it out. And you might also find some brown trout in here too. Which is what I'm trying to do. Well, for the most part they look like rainbows to me, but... We'll see here, guys. Right, up, left, up, down, up, right, up, left, and this one's a fighter, 17 inches, 2 pounds. All right. And I've unlocked starter waders, level 3. 
So basically what we're doing in this whole beginning is we're going through the tutorial. We're getting geared up as we go and having a little bit of fun getting used to the controls. I will tell you that Xbox controllers do work with this. So if you have an Xbox controller, you can go into the settings and set it up for that. Wish I did because I think it would be a lot more fun. A little more control over it. There we go. Now, do just what I did before. Just hit. If you don't do it quick enough, they will get off the hook. But you only have to do it once when it changes. You don't have to hold it or keep hitting it. There we go, 19 inches, one pound. And 10 fish bucks. Alright, let's just go over here, take a look, see if there's any other fish over here. Aha! And it looks like we might have some brown ones in there too. That one right there, you can see him, he's a brown trout. Let's see if we can't get him. Uh, I don't think that's the brown trout, but... Nice rainbow, four pounds. It's a decent one. And I got a box of stuff. Chapter two, introduction to hatchet. All right, guys, we're gonna see if we can't get this brown trout this time. All right, they're not gonna go for that particular fly, apparently. Try it again, just to make sure. Nope. All right. What we'll do is we'll... Oh, here it is. Here it is. Watch this, guys. Ah, I'm out of it already? You gotta be kidding me. All right. We've got this other one. This kind of looks like it, too. Let me try this one. No. There it is. That's the one. I was sure that was it. Alright, we're going to have to go back in and make a couple of more of those other ones. So I thought the yellow humpty might work. That's the one. Foam body golden stone fly. Get a few of those. There we go. Now I know that one will work for sure. There we go. I think we got us a rainbow though this time. Up. Left. 
up, left, down, right, up. 16 inches, one pound. 20 more fish bucks. I am determined to get that darn brown trout though. Got him. I got him. See, look at that, 33 inches, 20 pounds, brown trout record holder. I've just reached level seven and unlocked sole sandals. All right, not a bad day's work, guys. Yeah, this is very, very fun, and eventually you, like I said, eventually you can advance to a higher level of expert where you can start using the drag and you reel in with the button instead of using the arrows. So it does have a step up in difficulty, but uh, obviously they want you to get used to the controls first. But anyway, guys, that's my first look at this. This is a nice game, it really is. I think it's got some potential. You do have to remember this is early access, so it will be changing over time, so Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick how to save the game when you are done and you want to continue doing more things with it. So what you have to do is you have to go up here to settings and hit save. That is the only way to save right now. If there is another way, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> anyway, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back, and always remember guys, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.